Climate change is an intersectional issue, and I'm going to tell you why. Hi, I'm Jean McCarthy. I'm the National Climate Advisor for President Biden. The biggest opportunity that this country has to grow jobs is to invest in clean energy. The very solutions that we need to deploy to fix climate change are going to be the solutions that we need to grow our economy again. We're talking about good jobs, good paying union jobs, and meeting the needs of individuals all across this country in every community. Climate change is a racial justice issue because it exacerbates the challenges in the communities that have been left behind. It goes after the very same communities that pollution has held back and racism has held back. And it's our opportunity to serve those communities, to elevate them. Young people have a big stake in the issue of climate change and what we do or don't do because it's your future that's at stake, which is the exciting part of today is that the youth are not sitting on the sidelines. They're speaking up and the best way to get their parents to move is for them to demand change. We want young people engaged. We want them to vote as soon as they can. There's so much that you can do, but make sure you keep bugging the heck out of us old dudes so we do the right thing. Climate change impacts the people that have been left behind, the communities that have been marginalized by systemic racism, the communities that haven't been invested in, which is why this administration is going to focus our attention on those very communities to grow jobs, to get better housing, to get them access to good food. It is all about justice. Climate justice is about equal rights. Look, I think we spend an awful lot of time talking about the challenges that climate change poses. But the really interesting question is, how do we turn that into an opportunity? I want you to know that there are climate solutions available to us today, that if we deploy them across the country, we can get almost to the finish line. Yes, we're going to invest in new technologies, but for crying out loud, let's all start demanding the solutions that are available to us today and we'll get you the future that you deserve.